Welcome to ECU Flash Evo 10 Training Part 24. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with our Flex Fuel tuning feature in our Tefra V3 ROMs. Our Flex Fuel tuning feature is going to allow us to run a Flex Fuel sensor and be able to run whatever kind of ethanol blend we want in our fuel system, all the way from 0% ethanol or 91 or 93 octane pure petrol fuel, all the way up to 98% ethanol. We're able to vary the fuel, the spark timing, and the boost levels according to our ethanol content that we have in our system. It is the ultimate way to set up and work with an ethanol-based fuel. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check out how to tune and work with flex fuel tuning. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our flex fuel control and our Tefra V3 ROMs. Flex fuel is going to allow us the ability to run any kind of ethanol content we want in our fuel system. We had a specific video earlier in our training course talking about ethanol tuning. So we had a fixed ethanol level. We weren't going in and changing that content amount. It was just going to be running 85% or 70% or 98% ethanol. That's unrealistic for a vehicle that's going to be traveling uh, on the road. We're going to find that we can't consistently have the same amount of ethanol in our fuel system. So in this situation, we'd have to run a flex fuel sensor if we want to run ethanol, so that we're always going to have the proper fuel, spark timing, and boost adjusted on the fly dynamically as the engine runs, so that everything's going to be safe, it's going to be proper, and we're not going to have a damaged engine or an engine that's not going to run uh, very well because it doesn't have the proper fuel mixture or the proper spark timing, again, based on the ethanol content. So Let's talk about the flex fuel um, sensor and the setup and how it's going to work. And then we'll start talking about setup and configuration in the programming details for flex fuel. It's actually really simple, but there's going to be some key things that I want to point out that make sure you're going to understand. So the way that the flex fuel is going to work, we have a flex fuel sensor. It's going to mount on the return line on our fuel system. It's going to be registering what the ethanol content is going to be through the sensor. It's going to be outputting then a signal in frequency that's going to be between 50 to 150 hertz. 50 hertz being 0% ethanol, 150 hertz being 100% ethanol. So it's a linear scale between those two, and it's going to be varying what that frequency output's going to be based, again, on what kind of content we have in the fuel system. So as the fuel passes through the return line, through the actual sensor itself, it's going to then translate what that amount's going to be back into the ECU that we're working with. Now the problem with the EVO 10 ECU, it can't accept a frequency-based signal from the sensor. So it's that roll sensor output um, that it can't work with. So we need to translate that sensor output, that roll sensor signal, and from frequency into voltage. We can work with a 0 to 5 volt sensor output from a sensor into our EVO 10 ECU. We can repurpose another uh, input that we'll talk about here in just a little bit in some of our programming details. Um, that's going to be a voltage-based sensor, so 0 to 5 volt. So what we find is that we have our flex sensor it's going to be mounted on the return line. Then we have a translator box that's going to be converting that frequency signal into a voltage signal, into a 0 to 5 volt output. Depending on what kind of flex sensor kit you're working with, you're going to find that they have different voltage scales to ethanol content levels. So it can translate that, that, uh, that scale that we're working with. We'll talk about that in a little bit about the kit that I prefer to work with um, that, and the scale that we want to program. So now that we understand the, the, uh, the kind of layout, what's, what's going on with the sensor and the fuel going through it and translating that out into a signal, let's talk about programming some of our details here and, and how this is going to work. So if we jump into our current ROM metadata and we go down here to our tech, Tefra X Mod V3 and we move down here into our map switching master, we're going to find that we have a couple options. Zero off, one alt map, two meth failsafe, three flex. Now in this situation, we find that it's off right now. We've talked about the alt map feature it allows you to run those nine different alternative maps that we were working with. We uh, walked through that in a previous video. Meth failsafe, we've also talked about that. Our last option here would be flex. So if we choose our flex option, we're going to click on our little blue uh, rectangle here that shows off. I'm going to click on that and use my close right hand bracket key. If I hit that, it's going to allow me to change it to alt maps. Hit it again, it's going to go to meth failsafe. One more time, it's going to go to flex fuel. So now we're telling the ECU that we want to run flex fuel control. When we do this, it's going to be bypassing all of the other alt maps except alt map 1. So only alt map 1 is going to be working for our highest ethanol content we're going to be tuning with. And then our normal tables, so our normal fuel injector scaler, high octane tables here, high octane fuel and, uh, uh, timing, our reactive solenoids, boost target, cranking enrichment, and rev limiter, they're going to be the normal values that we would program for 91 or 93 octane. If we scroll down here, these are going to be all the normal tables we deal with. The alt map one will then again, as I just previously mentioned, represent the highest ethanol content we're gonna be tuning. And it's gonna have a sliding scale between these two, depending on what that ethanol content sensor is gonna be outputting. So we'll talk about that calibration here in just a little bit, but we're gonna be choosing flex fuels as option. And then when we do that, alt map is gonna alt map one here specifically is the only one referenced. All the other alt maps can be ignored. 
So let's go close this out here. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.